Hello. In the last two session, we have seen how to find the roots of any quadratic equation by completing square method. Now, in this session, we are going to see how to solve ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. That is the general form of quadratic equation by completing square method. So, when we solve this equation by completing square method, at the end, we'll get x is equals to something. So that x equals to you are going to get one formula that is going to be used in the next method so we'll see uh, for example it's general formula that is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to zero now as we have seen in the completing square method the first thing that we have to see that the coefficient of x square should be one but here is a so we'll divide throughout by dividing of our equation throughout by a so if we divide it by a the equation will become x square plus b by ax plus c by a is equals to zero now next step that we have to follow that the constant term should be on the right hand side so we'll shift c by a on the rhs so x square plus b by ax is equals to minus c by a so plus c by a will on right hand side will be minus c by a now as we have seen that that on the left hand side we have to make this the term as a whole square value that is the left hand side should be a perfect square value so that we are going to convert this in the form of a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square and as we have seen that is decided by this sign that is uh, if it is plus so it will be a plus b the whole square if it is minus so it will be a minus b the whole square but for that we need at least three terms here we have just two terms a square and two ab uh, form value not we have we don't have any b square value so we'll find out the b square value that is third term so third term formula as we have seen third term is equal to half into coefficient of of x the whole square so it will be half into what is the coefficient of x that is b by a the whole square so it will be b b upon 2a the whole square so it will become b square upon 4a square so this equation number one now we'll add b square upon 4a square on both the side of this equation so adding adding b square by 4a square on both side of equation 1 so therefore the equation will become x square plus b by ax plus b square upon 4a square is equals to b square upon 4a square minus c by a minus c by a now next thing now we have to write this in the form of a square minus plus 2ab plus b square. So we'll write this as this is nothing but in the form of a square that is x square here. Then 2 into a is x here into b. So b here is this term that is b square term here. So can I write this as b upon 2a the whole square. So this term is nothing but b square. So here a square plus 2a into b so b here is 2 by b by 2a now here if 2 to get cancelled what you will get the same thing that is bx upon a so this is nothing but the same values but we have written in the form of uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square is equals to 4a square and a square if we take the LCM it will be 4a square so it was already here 4a square so it will become b square minus 4 into 4a into a that is 4 uh, a square so we have to multiply above that is by 4a so it will become 4ac now this is we can write this as a that is x plus a plus b the whole square that is x plus b by 2a the whole square is equal to b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square now we have to find out the value of x so we'll take the square root on both the side so taking square root taking square root on 
both the sides what we'll get that is x plus b by 2a the square by <coughs> this square by so we remove here now this will be plus or minus when you take square root we have to take plus or minus so this is not a perfect square value so it will be b square minus 4ac will be under the square root and this will be 4 will become 2 a square will become a so we got plus or minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a now we want x so x is equals to is equals to plus or minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a minus b by 2a so it will come here minus 2 <coughs> minus b by 2a so we got two values of x here that is x is equals to plus that is root b square minus 4ac upon 2a minus b by 2a and x is equals to minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a uh, minus b by a so we can write this this simple form that is of uh, the denominators are same so plus or minus b square minus 4ac upon here this will be minus that will be upon 2a or you can write this as x is equals to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a so that is nothing but this is the formula that we are going to use in the next method that is known as a formula method then you can just directly apply this formula to find the root of any quadratic equation the formula